A game-changing moment for me was really more of a, uh, a relationship-changing moment. Uh, I remember many years ago, uh, we had just moved down from Alberta, Canada to uh, Utah, and I just happened to be going to the same church as Alan Osman from like the Donnie Marie show. And uh, somehow he found out that I'd played drums. And so one, one Sunday at church, he comes up to me and he goes, hey, Joel, uh, now you're a drummer, right? And I'm like, oh, yeah. And he goes, well, uh, I'm actually taking my boys out on a world tour. And I guess his boys, you know, were the second generation Osmonds. And so uh, I had an opportunity through Alan to audition for their group, got the gig, was put together with several other musicians. And uh, within that gig, I got to be friends with uh, a gentleman by the name of Chuck Myers. And Chuck was a keyboard player. He just, one of those kind of guys that just kind of plays everything. Uh, lived relatively co close to where I was. After the, after the tour was done, he called me up and had been hired by Sony PlayStation to do some of their first initial games. And uh, Chuck and I had hit it off uh, on the uh, second generation Osmonds tour and had hired me to play on, uh, I think it was Jet Moto or Twisted Metal for Sony PlayStation. And man, when that whole thing came down, I was like, unbelievable, I'm playing on a video game? I mean, this is just crazy. I went from, you know, playing in my garage to playing at the occasional club and doing some stuff out in Nashville, then playing with the Osmonds to Twisted Metal video game for the PlayStation. And since then, it has been a game changer playing on video games because from that relationship with Alan, got me connected with Chuck, Chuck connected me with so many other different people, and since then, it's been, man, 60 video game tracks, video game soundtracks later.